right, so this problem says the spinner at the right has an equal probability of landing in each of the four regions. So notice I have a, a yellow region, two blue regions, and a red region, and you have an equal chance of landing on each of those separate regions. Suppose the spinner is spun twice. So you're going to be spinning this spinner twice, which is why we're going to have two diagrams, one that represents the first spin and one that represents the second spin. And they're asking us to execute three steps. They're asking us to make a probability tree so that we can find the probabilities for the various outcomes when we spin the spinner twice. And then they're asking us to find the probability of landing in a blue region on both of your spins. And then in step three, they want to know what is the probability of landing in a red region. And then when you spin a second time, you land in a yellow region. Okay, so step one, they want us to make a probability tree to fill in the probabilities for all the various things that could happen when you spin your spinner twice. So there are three colors that your spinner can land on. However, one color has a way better chance compared to the other two. The three colors that are on the spinner are yellow, blue, and red. But this time, what is the chance of you landing on a yellow? It is not one out of three. Why? Because on that spinner, there were just one out of the four. You have a one in four chance. And on the blue, you had a two in four chance. And in the red, you have a one in four chance of landing on a red on your first spin. But once again, we're going to be spinning twice. So we need to calculate the probabilities for the second spin. And if you spin a yellow first, your second spin could be one of three different options. You can land on a red, you can land on a yellow again, or you can land on a blue. If your first spin had been a blue, you could land on a red, a yellow, or a blue. If your first spin had been a red, you have three options for your second spin. Your second spin can land on a red, and on a yellow, or it can land on a blue. So once again, what was the probability associated with landing on a red? It doesn't change with your second spin. You still got a one in four chance. Yellow, you still got a one in four chance. And blue, you still have a great chance of landing on a blue. So I'll just repeat those probabilities again. All right, and now we can go on to step two, which says, what is the probability of you landing on a blue first and a blue a second time? So we're looking for what is the probability of this happening? A blue and a blue. Well, the shortcut to finding this is once you know the probability of one outcome and you know the probability of the second outcome, to find the probability of both outcomes occurring, you multiply the probabilities. So I have a two in four chance of a blue followed by a two in four chance of a blue. So the probability of both of them happening, you multiply the probabilities and you have a four out of 16, which is a one in four chance of that happening. And that's some pretty good odds there. In step three, they wanted to know what is the probability of landing in a red, so a red first, and a yellow second. Probably of a red is a one in four chance, and probably of a yellow is also a one in four chance. So the probability of both of these events occurring is a one in 16. And so this concludes our activity.